fantastic day out there. Uh, my road making a move up, just like uh, we were hoping yesterday to get a higher high. Well, we got that for sure. This thing is up today. Let's take a look here. 12.63%. Uh, All right, was up a little bit higher than that earlier. Looking like uh, we're looking like we might bust out of here. All right, and finally make a move. Um, we were looking at uh, some target areas. That first target area, uh, we have busted through here. And we're going to take a look at this chart here in a second, guys. See how much higher we could possibly be going. All right, if we come over here to uh, Coin Market Cap, take a look here. Volume is up 77%. That's what you want to see for a breakout 52.7 million. All right, the market cap is 80 million. Uh, we had 52.7 million in volume. That's crazy with an 80 million dollar market cap, up 77 and a half percent. So you want to see volume backing up a breakout, and that's what we're getting. So that is good to see. Um, if we come over here to uh, Coin Glass, all right. Uh, you can see here volume 62 percent 81 million it actually has over here open interest 9.72 million on myro uh, for the whole crypto market up top here 24 hour liquidations 183 million that's up 21 percent from yesterday open interest getting up there 48.8 billion that's plus 4.69 percent from yesterday and 24 hour volume for the whole crypto market 137.5 billion that's up uh, 1.45 percent all right that open interest though that's the one right there all right 48.8 billion dollars and if we look at bitcoin here real quick we are approaching that 702 at 53,000 bucks all right we are getting very very close right now we're at 518 uh we're up uh, 2100 bucks for the day you know we could end up hitting that today quite honestly um it's it's going to be interesting all right let me pull the server so you can see the prices all right it's pretty close to about there all right the, the right around fifty three thousand bucks is at 702 now if this five wave pattern plays out here this has a projected price up in the 54s okay now could it go up there and still you know get rejected absolutely um pay very close attention i'm not i am not starting any fun nothing of the sort i am just uh, uh there's a lot of bulls out there right now all right ever since we broke through the 618 do i believe we're in a bull market absolutely one thousand percent i am the biggest bull you'll ever see do I believe that we could have a rejection at the 702 and pull it back down to the 30s? Yeah, that, that could absolutely happen. Um, I've been saying that the whole time. You know, Originally, I thought the 618 was going to be the rejection point. But um, if we get through this, if we clear the 702 um, you know, and get up towards the 786, then I'll believe uh, that, that we're not going to have a pullback here. But... You know what makes you really wonder here? Okay, now the weekly is reset. All right, we do have bearish divergence here. If we pull this up here, whoops, let me see. That's a new thing I'm, I have on here that uh, that I've been looking at here. It's a CDV, deals with volume. All right, tells you if buyers or sellers are in control of the market. Um, very curious i've been trying it out you look for bearish and bullish divergence on it with price uh something new i'm just trying out but let's pull that down that's not what i wanted to pull up here all right you can see right here we have this high and we have a lower high okay and on price it was totally opposite we had a higher high in price you can see here we had this high and a higher high in price and lower high on the RSI. All right, the monthly RSI, look where it's at. It's at a 100 and a 100, right at the very tippy top there, okay? That, uh, that is a little scary, okay? Could it do for a correction? It could. Uh, the daily, uh, 97 and a 98. The daily is actually flipped bearish. Even though we're still adding up and we have a green daily candle, the RSI has flipped bearish. All right, the 12-hour, 
uh, 9628 and a 9625. Technically still bullish. Eight hour, uh, just turning back up. Okay, We've got some bearish divergence here on the eight hour also. All right, if we pull this up, you have this high, you have a lower high. All right, we're below the moving average too. If that turns out to be resistance and rolls over, uh, that'd be interesting. But the eight hour are the eight hour is reset and bullish at a 50 and a 35. And then you have the four hour. Um, the four hour is at an 85 and a 75, getting close to the top. And you can see on here, it's it's printed lower highs the whole way through here. So you got some bearish divergence on Bitcoin, especially on that weekly. That's the big one. The the smaller time frames I can deal with. The the bigger time frame that weekly right there. Uh, that's the one. Of course, it can take that right out too. Okay. If it makes a higher high here, um, it can take that uh, bearish divergence out. In fact, I'm going to set an alarm on this thing and see if uh, see if it does take it out. All right. Well, I can put an alarm on the line here. Let's just do that. Create. There we go. There we go. Now we got an alarm on it, so we'll know if it breaks that, okay? But pay very close attention, guys, when it gets towards that 53,000. All right, that's the 702. Very common area for rejection, the 618 and the 702. So we blow through that. Hey, man, it, it's on to, you know, greener pastures. We get the pullback down. I'm looking at stacking some massive altcoins. I would love to get one more sale. Um, you know, on alts, you know, you get 30, 40, 50 percent off these altcoins, you can really stack up. That would be possibly be the buy of a lifetime, you know. If you miss the bear market down here and we get a pullback down here to uh, 35, you know, back down right around this area down here, you have another chance at, at stacking on. So, hope for you know, hope for this, hope for the pullback. You know, and after that happens, just like 2019 back here, all right, after we had our retracement right back here, same deal went on, okay? You had uh, your bull run up, okay, run down, bear market, you had your 2019 retracement, then you pulled down, 50% Bitcoin pulled down here, all right? And after it was done, that's when it started its incline. And that's when, you know, we've really started making some ground here. So uh, it, just because we have this big pullback, 2019, this was the retracement. Then we had a 50% pullback. All right. That, I'm not counting COVID over here. All right. And then it started on an incline. You can see that steady incline right here in price. It started right up after we finished that correction. So that's what I would expect here, you know, if, if Bitcoin gets rejected. I would expect pretty much the same exact thing. You know, run up, pull down to 35 roughly, you know, and then start or incline, incline and start heading straight up, you know, and get this uh, get this bull run started. I, I am pumped. I am ready. I'm ready to make a pile of money. All right, let's take a look at my bro. Please hit the like and subscribe, guys. Thank you to all the level three new members. I think we had four more last night. We have 77 uh, members now in the trading group. Uh, if you join up, it's $14.99, nine hours worth of videos, 20 plus videos, guys, to teach you guys how to do this stuff, to chart these things. All right, we have a bull run coming up. Could be an opportunity of a lifetime, guys. For fifteen dollars, all right, you get your fifteen dollars worth, and then some. I'm a small YouTuber. I have to create income. Uh, if I have to sell it for fifteen bucks, I have to sell it for fifteen bucks. You know, that's just the way it goes. And and whatever. If you guys watch the channel, you deserve a good deal on something. You know, it's fifteen dollars. You will learn a lot. You know, and if you go over there. Um, it, it pay very close attention to the, the Fibonacci videos, the trend line videos, the price target videos, how to look for your price targets for your tokens. Pay very close attention to that stuff. I love the Fib. I use it constantly. All right. But a, very, a lot of great info in there, guys. Please go check it out. You know, spend the 15 bucks and 
get a leg up on your competition. You're going to need it. It's a it's a dog eat eat dog race here uh, in the bull run. Everybody's trying to take your money. And that's that's just how it works. All right. Now yesterday we were going over some things in here. Let's zoom in here. All right. We were going over higher highs and higher lows in here. And we said we needed a higher high, and sure enough, we ended up getting it. I believe we were on a 12-hour or something here. We were out a little bit further. All right. Isn't that crazy how we got? Yeah, almost looks like a W formation in there, a double bottom. We did get two bottoms down here, and then we had this big massive explosion. Right after I put the video out last night, my row was down here. And sure enough, it just took off. I said to the wife, I said, boy, oh boy, how's that for timing? That was awesome. You know, we got a trend line started down here on this thing. I'm going to pull it out. Could be right there. We'll see where this ends up at. But we got one, two, three, four touches, five touches. All right, so that looks pretty valid. All right, we could even pull down the whole way back to this trend line and we would still be in an uptrend okay as long as it holds this trend line we are in an uptrend all right we're going to turn that a different color uh turn it blue so we know what's going on here all right now let's take a look at some rsis we came up here we ended up taking out remember we had these first price targets that we set here last night uh 0 0.078 and 0 0.08 well we broke through them okay so now we're going to be looking at higher prices these ones up here we ended up taking out yeah we broke up through here uh, we broke the nine cent barrier okay so let's go up this would be our next move up here with the fib all right we're going to put it up here so our next price targets are 10 cents and 10.9 all right and that's that's our next price targets now i had something interesting going on here i was looking at this last night all right and this morning uh if we have a wave one and a wave two <coughs> excuse me the market moves in waves guys the, the, normally waves of five waves of three waves of three are corrections but let me show you here real quick you got one two three four five five waves up right there uh you have numerous wave counts down through here of, of uh five waves um you have a big one two three four five waves down all right and now i'm looking at possibly if this is starting five waves up right here if we put a trend-based fib on this thing go from the swing low to swing high to the retracement Look at that. That would give us a target up here at 13 cents. That would take out this this level here. All right. Now, if this is going to happen, I'd expect this wave three to run a lot harder. All right. If that's a wave three in here, you would expect, you know, something like this. You got your one, two, wave three, four, and then your fifth wave up. But we'll see if that plays out. But it's looking like it. This is looking like a wave three. Wave three is your longest wave um, in the whole thing here. And that, that's definitely looking like a wave three. Now, as far as the RSIs go, all right, uh, let's see here. 12 hour. We got the 12 hour at a 100 and a 100 right at the top. The daily still coming up an 88 and a 64. That daily is still bullish. You got your 8 hour, uh, 99 and a 95. The four hour is also right at the top at 97 and a 98. So we got all of our RSIs are at the top here. Okay, so you, we're probably looking for a little bit of a retracement here, right? Where could this retracement come to? We'd be looking for a 618. Uh, look at that, how that comes in right at support there. That's awesome, right here. Coming in right there. As a major support area at uh, 0 0.071 all right that's where we would be looking for a possible pullback that would get us back to a 618 retracement right down here and then a bounce from there all right that wouldn't violate anything here one two three four 
and then we'll get a fifth wave out of here it's not going to be that trend based fib target unfortunately but it still looks like uh, five waves up here okay you would have one two three if this pulls back it's going to pull back to here four and then a fifth wave up towards that 10 cent area okay that would get us let's see here as far as a target goes 10 cents yeah look at that that would get us up uh, up towards the 702 area up at 10 cents between the 618 and 702 all right I believe that is a, a valid target area I'm gonna mark that out here and we'll see what uh, We'll see if we get that. All right, 618 to 702, right up in this range here, and that's just for this next move. Okay, um, I would expect, a, like I said, a pullback possibly down, down to this uh, 0 0.071, 0 0.072, possibly a pullback down there, and then a bounce back up here, up towards the 10 cent area. All right, but Myra is looking great, guys, and then we'll re reevaluate after that after we get up to them levels we'll reevaluate and uh and see where we're heading from there but uh right now myra looks great keep an eye on bitcoin on at 53,000 we're at 51.8 right now that's 1200 bucks you know we'll see we're gonna see what happens when we get up there but getting very very close all right thank you guys please hit the like and subscribe and i'll talk to you soon